Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to work on solving another rational equation. Now remember, that's basically an equation with a rational expression inside. Think fractions, okay? So the process for doing this is to transform it into something much nicer. This means we need to get rid of those fractions. In order to do so, we're going to multiply through by the least common denominator, all right? Now, when looking at these expressions, it's often handy to factor down any denominators just so you can see what's in there. So when I look at this guy, it factors into an x times an x minus 3. Now the reason why that helps is now I can look at all three of my denominators and look at all the pieces that they have. So it looks like I have an x minus 3 piece and I have an x piece. And of course this denominator is just a combination of both of those. So my least common denominator is an x minus 3 times an x. Now I'm going to use this to multiply on both sides and get rid of all of my fractions. Okay? So let's see what this is going to do. All right. So basically multiply on the left side by an x times an x minus 3. I'm going to multiply it on the right side. Now, if you have more than one term, make sure that you distribute to both terms. That does have an effect. Okay? So x times x minus 3 times this would be 6 times x, x minus 3, all over x minus 3. As it distributes to the next term, there's a 6 times x times an x minus 3 all over x equals. And if we look at the last part, there's an 18x, x minus 3, all over x, x minus 3. Now, when you first multiply, it may look really complicated, but don't worry, lots of stuff will cancel out. Here I have my x minus 3's that are gone. Here the x's will cancel. And here both the x and the x minus 3 will cancel. So if you look at what's left over, we have a 6x minus a 6 times x minus 3 equals 18. Now this is a much nicer equation that we can go ahead and solve. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Maybe starting up here, I'll start with 6x minus, and I'm distributing in my 6 here, so 6x plus 18 equals 18. All right, so 6x minus 6x, those will cancel. And it looks like I'm just left with an 18 equals 18. So all of my x's are completely gone. And all I'm left with is a true statement. This is an indication that no matter what x we choose, it should work. So I've marked here that x is all real numbers. Now, normally we'd be good right there and say that that is all of our solutions, but since we're dealing with a rational equation, we also must check the denominator to see what values might give us a zero in these denominators. Well, we can kind of get a sense from looking at our LCD. Anytime an x is a zero, I'll get a zero in that denominator. Anytime x is a three, I'll get a zero in that denominator. So I have to revise my solution just a little bit. So it's not quite all real numbers. It's all real numbers, except 3 and 0. If you want to use your interval notation to write this, you could say any number between negative infinity up to 0, from 0 to 3, or from 3 to infinity. And these intervals would represent all the solutions to the rational equation. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.